Let's open this thing. Interesting. Compliance. That's new. All right. Oh man, that looks nice. Damn. Oh wow, that is sexy. No batteries in it yet. Those will be going in shortly. Cool. That's clean looking. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bang, boom. We're going. It's okay. live. Do I got something in my eye? Oh, that's an actual whisker. I know the one. It grows. <laughs> oh my it, god! It grows out of my face once in a I while. I think I just got it. it. <laughs> you definitely yeah. got it. I, I'm crying now. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like, you got a hair stuck on <laughs> your face. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can tell, I don't really grow facial hair. It's very rare when but I shave. But when I do get a hair, I get a. a uh, one inch here coming out of my middle of my forehead, and then <laughs> oh once God. in a while I get one, one right about here. Wow. Other than that, I haven't shaved in about a month, I'm so. <laughs> no, I'm crying. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Glad you got to witness that one. <laughs> oh my God. It's amazing. Uh, we're back. No, oh, um, let's get right into the giveaway. Giveaway, I, yeah. The last, last uh, pint video. One wheel video. We were going to give away a little song song, and uh, asking you shall receive Bumpier Drake 960. You get a black XR Fender. Woohoo! Not our biggest surprise we're giving away, but we'll give away one a one or a one a one a video. One a video. Except for that giveaway or the the welcome video. Welcome to you. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a promotional yeah, video. Exactly. Hope you saw it. Hope you saw our story. Yeah. And, um, see if you haven't seen it. And before at the start of the video, got it this time. Don't forget to like, <laughs> subscribe, comment down below. You wait until the end. We do giveaways almost every single video, so watch through. Click that bell notification so you know when we post a new video, so you'll be the first to hear the latest news. Mm -hmm. But let's get right to it. Yep. Bagode hero. Mm -hmm. Bagode. I don't know. Bagode. Not Bagoda. Not Bagoda. We'll go today. Bagode. Bagode. <laughs> Maybe one word in the English language that ends in O D E that goes O D. Doesn't exist. I'll say it a million times. Doesn't exist. <laughs> Anyway. Don't get him started. All right. <laughs> triggered. You can see it. You're triggered already. Hashtag triggered above my head, please. <laughs> um, I almost like didn't want to like this wheel. Like, I was yeah. like, I, I don't want to be one of those reviewers that like every single review, I'm like, oh my God, this wheel's <laughs> awesome. So far, that's pretty much um, us. Just like, <laughs> I don't want to be chooch. I don't want to some other reviewers that are always have stoked. They're yeah. always so stoked. And I get it. The new wheels are exciting. And yeah. so we're going to try to go into some of the things I don't like about this wheel. But I have to say, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised and pretty much shocked. Is that my whisker floating? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets way back to your face. So we got this thing in three boxes mm -hmm. and uh, the batteries came first and the, uh, the pedals came in a separate box and then the, the body came in another one. And Take it. It took our tech a while to put it together. Um, we want, first of all, I had a customer that wanted a CST tire, the one that they throw on the EXNs and whatnot, and uh, we didn't have any left in stock, but I knew one came with the Bagode Hero, and I prefer the Sherman Kenda tire, so I got my tech to swap out the tires. It looked like it was gonna be easy. But? But, you actually have to take apart that giant heat sink at the top to get under the screws to be able to take the, the wheel off, and it's more of a hassle than it, it should have been, so that's one thing I'm like, ah. Not the best design, but... It looks like it would be like a, um, a Recchio wheel where it would just like feel disassembly. I right? you put the yeah. Recchio wheel. Hey, I'm 28% uh, Italian. So he just got his 23 and me thing today. Yeah, 48% uh, Eastern European, 28% Italian, 8% Greek, 8% um, Northern African. So. Wow, I can't see it. I just can't well, see it. You know, it's, it's inside. It's inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now, let's get into more of the details. I <laughs> want to get into the design. So the heat sink on the top is just absolutely massive. And yeah, it was a, we had to take it off to, to do the tire change. But overall, as soon as we got this thing, the, between the battery packs that I posted on the, the Facebook group and um, between the actual just build quality, by far the best Bagode build I've ever seen. Times, times 7.2. Yeah, people are complaining about the price. It's what, $41.99 on our website, Canadian, yep. uh, which works out to about $32.50 US. 
that you're paying, you're not paying for the battery, obviously, it's only 1800 watt hours, you're, you're not paying um, for a giant motor, although it is quite torquey. Yeah. You're paying for the build quality. You guys have been wanting to go to build something more quality. And then they quality, do it. <laughs> and they do it, now you're playing about price. It cost, you could tell the, the, what they put into this. It costs money to develop something like that. Yeah. And it's a lot of metal. The, the heat sink is a giant, giant cast aluminum heat yep. sink. There's a lot of metal, which is also why it probably weighs 83.5 pounds. 0.6. Um, it was wet. It was wet. So 83.5 soaking wet. And I, I wrote it from... I rode it from home today and it was pouring rain. Three so. miles from home. Yeah, 5.5 five, five five kilometers. So yeah. yeah. Um, I want to remark too, people are, I've heard a couple people, a lot of people not, but some people being like, it's ugly. What? Yeah, it's not ugly. It's like the nicest wheel aesthetically. And I mean, aesthetics are subjective. I get it, you know. I feel like, like we have a good eye like for design though. Look I think at, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, man. It's. Yeah, when you look at it, when, when it's all fully assembled and you put it like next to a V11 or a V12, or pe people love those wheels because they, yeah. they like the finished product. It feels like a good, solid finished product. Yeah. It looks really, really solid. One of the most solid wheels I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I don't know why people call it ugly. I don't know why they call it ugly. I, I think it looks really sick. Um, Anyways, it's, it's a, such a subjective thing, and it's, some people don't have good taste when it comes to design. I feel like we do. Like, look at our branding, and, come and, on. and I mean, we're just stroking our own yeah, no, <laughs> ego there. But branding done Finish by that Caitlin Marlowe. Yeah, yeah, stroking, stroking her ego. my what now? <laughs> stroking her ego. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it, uh, just to, like, I don't want to belabor that point too much because, like we said, it's subjective. We think we're so great and all that, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> not really, kind of, but. Um, it's like good design, especially for pragmatic stuff like transportation. It's it's blending form and function, right? You want it to. You don't want it to just be like useless parts hanging off it, of course. And most DUCs don't. And but as a result, they're just kind of square, rectangular things. Yeah. Some wheels started to kind of divert from that. V11, V12. Sherman's got some cool accents to it, of course. The Abrams, but this thing is, you know, the seat gives a gives an edge. It's to a it. clever it's design. A silhouette. I don't it's, care anyone says. The tail light is sleek and sexy the the transparent i hope we get some good b-roll that's not type yeah. of work for you but just oh my gosh it's it's good it's nice i yeah. love it i'm so blown away by the goad yeah this is good job yeah uh, it's a it's a good design and then they not get into the no no <laughs> then they not... then they release the ex2 oh, no. i'll throw a photo up there <laughs> what can you guys Where's just it finish be? this it product? Gonna be? I don't know. It'll maybe be over, over our faces right now. But like, what were you thinking? Oh my I just, God. The thing is so ugly. And I, I, I mess with like, name please tell it. me that this is going to be uh, a f like, you're putting a shell on the yeah, outside. Yeah. They're like, no, no, we might paint the battery cases black, but that's, oh, that's what it looks like. I'm like, do we even want to bring that thing in? Dude. It just the, looks uh, sharp too. It looks like there's all these like sharp edges. I don't know. Anyway, the Bagode Hero seems way more durable. It's like a durable S18 design. And I gotta tell you, they stole a lot of design from King Song. Um, that trolley handle is like King Song's, but way better, way yep. more sturdy. Yep. It feels solid. It's got this nice like spring to it. Yep. And it just feels like much better quality. And I, I as you guys say, know, yeah. I will say at my height, it's a, a, it's a little short. Hint too short. Yeah. It's not yeah. like, you know, ugh. But I just wish it went up yeah. an inch. That more. was the first thing um, Dino said, one of our, our team members here. I keep trying to pull it up, and my, my palm, which happens with the S18 too, my palm presses on the button and I'll be walking with it. And since it's a little low, I'm kind of pressing down on it to counteract that, and I'll, I'll push the. Oh, did that happen to you? Yeah, oh, like five okay. times, and I was at Whole Foods yeah. before we went and played uh, Call of Duty Vanguard <laughs> on his uh, new television. Which yeah. Was, Amazing. It was good times. Best campaign ever. If you want a good first person shooter campaign, was, Call of Duty Vanguard. Yeah, Screw was, the reviews. Yeah, it's impressive. We'll do our own like, review. Very cinematic. Let's start the Especially like World video. War II. This is like. Unbelievable. We'll start doing video game reviews yeah, and we're, hey, not, we're not gamers at all, but yeah, we'll we'll on the side, you know. You know, aspiring. Once in a while. Yeah. Um, mm, sorry. No. My job is to throw him off on tangents here. <laughs> the Bagode Hero is the, the handle. It is a little short. Dino noticed it too, but all, everyone that's tried it is six foot plus. Mm. Six foot two, six foot one. Dino's what? Six foot two, maybe? I think probably six three. He's six three. He's tall. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. For you shorter folks, it might not be too bad for you. It'd be perfect. Um, anyways, let's get on to the riding. Um, I we've only ridden it maybe sixty kilometers, seventy total. You've yeah, had I probably got like twenty on it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is very much a first impressions. Yeah. Uh, we haven't broken in the tire yet. Oh, man. Um, but man. And this review is based on us riding it with a Kenda knobby tire, the same mm. as the Sherman, not the CST knobby tire. CST is 
It's a good tire. It's, I like the Kenda a lot more. When you turn on the CST, it kind of bites a little bit and it can start kind of suck you down, like almost like pull you in. Yeah. You got to get used to it and learn how to throw it back up. I've learned to like ride with it, but just the Kenda, the Kenda tire is like everything the CST is, but just with that without pulling you in. Yeah. So um, yeah. I, I do prefer the, the Kenda tire. Anyway, um, rideability, it gets up to speed really quick. This is the torque version. They are making high speed version. I don't think we're going to carry the high speed version um, with the small battery packs and whatnot. Yeah. I just think it makes more sense just yeah. sticking to the torque. I'd make a high torque and a long range version. You yeah. know, but but what do I know? I got up to 56 kilometers per hour and then the beep started. So, yes. <laughs> Probably didn't see that. Yeah, which is, so it's not the fastest wheel by any means. I, I, I get beeps a lot later on RS, for example. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't full battery either. I was probably like 80, 75%. But yeah. still, I got beeps at uh, 56. So that kind of surprised me. But you cruising at like 50, it feels like cruising like 50 on the Abrams. I was like, we didn't even notice. In fact, I was riding some of these trails first time on this wheel, and normally you kind of got Got to get some kilometers in before you feel comfortable with doing trails on a wheel. Yep. And I'm looking down at my speed. I'm going 50 kilometers, 48 kilometers an hour. And on, I, on single track. On loose, bumpy ass loose trail. gravel, yeah. wet leaves. And I was just like, holy shit, yep. this is impressive. It's and quick. it gets up to that speed so quickly. It just feels so effortless. So I, I'm quite pleased with yep. the, the torque and speed. I'm someone that doesn't ride, as you guys know from watching the channel, I'm someone that doesn't ride that fast. Yep. Now that I ride the Abrams, my, my cruising speed is a lot faster than the, than the Sherman was before, but regardless, it's been pretty good. We have someone delivering an Amazon package. One second. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good, happy holidays. Hi. Thank you. For you. you know? You too. Bradley got me an Apple Watch for Christmas. What a sweetheart. All right. Oh, I bet you it's my tofu press. Don't think so. Uh, it's heavy and it says David Green on it. Yeah, well. Anyway, sorry. I, uh, <coughs> I'm sitting on a broken chair and I'm constantly worried <laughs> I'm just gonna to collapse snap. on video. It's probably gonna happen, views, so. That's really not, not this video, a future one. Extra so. views, we'll swap back and forth. It'll be like Russian roulette each video. I'll use the broken one. Who's gonna crash? Yeah. <laughs> Got some pounds uh, on you, especially after the holidays. I'll be like at 210 probably, so. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, I was cruising up uh, really steep hills with wet leaves, just yeah. ripping up the as hill. You were probably it was seeing. so much fun. Yeah, I posted some of the, well, there's a lot of B-roll playing as we, as we speak, but um, it's hard to tell how steep some of these hills were. were. But uh, this is, like I said, this is a first impressions video. We're gonna do like we did with the Abrams, a stress test video. Mm. We're gonna take it up even steeper hills yep. and really put it through its ringer. Um, and I look forward to that. So we're waiting for a dry day next week to do that with Doug and Albert. And oh my God, <laughs> another Amazon, Amazon guy is back. <laughs> Come on, that's got to be my tofu press. Let's go. <laughs> little little hot tip for anybody: if you like tofu, but you want a new texture, put it in. Uh, oh, yeah, press it out. Yeah. Get all the water out of it. For you as a Freeze okay, it. You. Thaw it after it's fully frozen. Chop it up. Cook it. You get this spongy, better mouthfeel, holds flavor better. Oh, that's how you, that's how you eat your tofu. I'm not, I'm not putting this in the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> now I have to. Oh, that's, oh, that's totally it too. Um, did it say Lucas? It did say Lucas. Yeah, tofu press, um, let's go. Anyway, it, the suspension, I want you to talk about it because you rolled down the stairs in our store and the first thing you said, holy <laughs> Unbelievable, man. It's so like, obviously I've ridden every suspension wheel. It's endlessly more s smooth down. And the, so there's no rebound control, which at the start I was kind of like, oh dear. Like, yeah, that's one of my biggest concerns what, riding this thing is like yeah. no rebound. It's, you can't yeah. adjust it. You have one chamber to fill up. Yeah, it's like, is it gonna snap me up? Is it gonna not do anything and just like bonk out? I'm, you know, 200 pounds probably around right now and fully clothed. It's like, that's, I don't know, and it's hit the stairs and it was like quieter, blew my mind. It's just slower, faster, 
And then, so I took it, we went and played Vanguard at your place and I wrote it home and found, I was just like ultimate confidence. One with, you were saying the speed and how it comes quick. S18 V11, both of them took me 50 to 100 kilometers before I was confident to kind of push past like 35 without yeah. getting many wobbles. Yeah. Granted, this thing's heavier, it's more expensive, blah, 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 you'd expect this, but like I was, I think touching pretty close to 50 on my way home on uneven ground and just was kind of like almost been like, oh man, don't get too carried away, kind of had to slow it down. Found a random stair set on my ride home and did the biggest stair set I've ever dropped on an EUC. I wish I had video of it because it was yeah. epic. I was going a little fast and pulled an electric roller and I like cleared the first three stairs and was like, ooh, brrr. Felt like I was riding down a, like a hill. Yeah. It, it, it's the, the, the fact that it doesn't have rebound control was the biggest concern yeah. for me. I was like, I was already I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, this is the first wheel that I'm gonna like we're gonna, not like on our, on our on our YouTube our videos, channel. I was yeah. like, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna finally yeah. crap on a wheel. And I took it out and I was like, it's, the suspension is definitely better than the V11. Um, it's different. So you know, it's, it's very it's different. Safe, you know. When I go over a, a big speed bump um, on the V11, like one of those big, I'll show, there'll be B-roll yeah. playing with me going over on the on the Hero. Yeah. When I do it on a V11, I kind of bounce up and it's yeah. like a pogo stick effect. And I try to play around with the rebound control and I still always have that pogo stick effect. Yeah. Some people love it. it. It's never thrown me off the wheel, but it's a little unnerving when you're going over, at speed going over these speed bumps. But yeah. I was going, 52, 54 kilometers an hour over these massive speed bumps. Just swallowing them. Swallowing them like nothing. Yeah. And I would say it felt even more stable than like the S18. Mm -hmm. I think the suspension on the S18 still might win even though it's louder and cl feels clunkier. Yeah. But the fact that you can adjust it is nice. Yeah. But whatever they did with this suspension, the fact that even though it doesn't have rebound control, not once did I get slingshotted up. Not once did I feel like I was being pogo sticked. Nope. Um, we have it at, set at 180 PSI, and that's a 165 pound guy riding in a 190, 200 pound, whatever you're at. Unfortunately, you yeah. Know. Don't look at it. it's pure solid muscle. According, <gasps> according to my uh, 23 and Me, I have a very rare gene that <laughs> is common in elite power athletes. So can you tell? <laughs> tickets to the can I have tickets to the gun show? No, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> well, let's go to water resistance. Yep. So the thing is sealed. Pass. Pass, the batteries are separate cases. They yep. look sealed. The, there's a gasket around the controller. The controller's in a very enclosed case. Um, it's not as sealed as the Abrams. There are some things like the lights and the speaker are exposed to water, yep. but the controller is not, the batteries are not. Um, so everything seems really sealed. I feel comfortable riding this in the rain. I rode it through some big puddles Pouring this morning, man. And uh, it's quite nice. The, the screen, I guess the goat listen when they have that It's, it's huge. <laughs> that crappy screen they have on the, on the RS. Um, best, they, they, best so it looks game. like the same screen technology before you put the lid on, but yeah. the lid has a tint on it and that makes it so you can actually see it. I yes. had no issues uh, viewing the screen. Uh, in daylight. And it's like, we're talking, you know, freaking. It's big, yeah. Yeah. The kickstand is actually a kickstand, unlike the Abrams bar. It works. Um, it works yeah. fantastic. Probably the best kickstand I've experienced. And it's yet. so subtle. I didn't even know it existed until I kind of like looked around. Like, I think this thing had a kickstand. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. intuitive. It's very nice. Um, <clears throat> it, it, the only thing is, the, it's, yeah, it's expensive, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, if I, when I buy this wheel, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, if I didn't have access to all 16 or 17 wheels we got now, would I Flex. purchase this yeah. wheel? <laughs> yes, 100%. Yeah. It would be my, it's going to replace my S18. Yeah. It, I love my S18, but this is everything I've wanted the S18 to be, just more, ta more power, more torque. Yep. It's not too, super big, it's not super wide. The S20 looks pretty wide. This thing doesn't feel mm -hmm. that big doesn't even feel that heavy when you're riding. It actually feels like quite lightweight and I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I'd say I'm more partial to the V11. So I, if I wanted to spend less than 4,200 Canadian, 3,250 US, yeah. US, I would buy a V11 if I wanted a suspension wheel. He'd buy an S18. I personally, I love the V11. Amazing. All around thumbs up everywhere. Yeah. If I'm spending more money, Get the yeah. hero. There's a reason sure. why the V11 is like our, our best seller. Our number one it's seller. weird because it's like for me, I've never felt 
connected to that wheel. Yeah. I don't know. It's never really I, liked I it that it. much, but people love it. Our customers love it. So hey, don't listen to me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do though, because yeah, the <laughs> one feeding you all these. <laughs> listen to me. Reviews. Don't listen to me. Take it with a grain uh, of uh, take it with a grain. Of it's, salt it's subjective. Sand. Riding style is, is all subjective. Yeah. Um, we're actually going to be doing a big year-end award show in this month, I guess we'll film it at some point. Probably. Maybe yeah. New Year's. Next week. Be like a New Year's show or something. Hungover. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. So we'll be doing all of our favorite wheels, and yeah. giving awards to some, some of the best riders and influencers, and uh, we're excited for it. It'll be our first annual yeah. one. Hopefully it becomes a thing. I think it will. Um, I'm very excited. We've got all the nominees and everything planned out and little awards ideated. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm just looking through our notes that people don't even realize we have notes in front of us probably, but we do. We I cheat. can't read a thing. My writing is so small though, I'm like, and I'm, oh I'm yeah, there were my eyesight. little things. Uh, there was no PSI recommendation from from the goat. I even just, asked them, they're like, it's, it's, it's up to you, whatever you want, to, whatever <laughs> yeah. you feel like. Don't you have just some ballpark flow, range? I'm like, nope, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, <clears throat> the heat sink definitely worked. Mind you, I was riding at like two, <clears throat> two degrees Celsius, it was pretty cold. Yeah, right there. Uh, two degrees Celsius, and uh, so it was obviously really cold out, but yeah. I was riding pretty heavy, and even riding two, in two degrees Celsius on the Commander, it'll start to overheat, the fans will kick in. This yep. thing stayed at like 24 degrees Celsius, the controller, so um, it stays really cool. We'll do the stress test, the pendulum test with Doug to see how long it takes to get the heat sink heat soaked, yep. and uh, see how quickly we can heat it up to 70 degrees. I reckon it'll do well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, stay tuned for that video. We're giving away an Abrams during our award show. Maybe not during our award show, but at some point. Uh, we'll announce the contest during the award show. And we're so kicking off the new year with an Abrams. Stay giveaway. tuned for the Abrams. And I want to say just really quickly, the Abrams has been amazing for us. I know there's been some videos circling online um, with the bad hall sensors in some of the pr early production models. Not we haven't here. had that issue with ours, we really strenuously tested it. He's a big guy and tried to over torque it. It's not happening. Um, if you buy one from us, trust that we will take every single one of the box. Lucas or anyone on our staff will test it thoroughly to make sure it's not gonna have that issue. And Leaper Kim also did say that there's gonna be a firmware update that makes the hull sensors more sensitive. So even if they had slightly misaligned hull sensor or whatever, it wouldn't cut out. And most of them aren't gonna have that issue anyway. Yeah. In fact, I don't, I don't, I think like it might have just one been one corner of a forum. There's two, two, two uses that I know of. Yeah. And let me tell you, there's a lot more issues with some other brands yeah. <laughs> than, and then the, the Veteran. Veteran has been one of the best brands for us. We see all the repairs come in. We see how much is coming back. And yeah. Veteran is not the issue. Uh, it's actually some of the, the bigger brands that you wouldn't think. So I don't want to get into it. We'll go into a little bit into our award show because yeah. we're going to have a uh, most, most reliable, reliable brand. And I think the answer might surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Oh, we got to give away something today. We already you, did. You at stuck. the beginning. What did we... Oh, oh, no, no, no. New, yeah, giveaway. new giveaway. New giveaway. So you um, stuck to the end. We're going to give something away. What are we going to give away today? You know, sure we got <laughs> custom EVs Navy lazy rolling hoodies coming in. And oh. they gave us some extra ones to give away. Oh. So why don't we give away a <clears throat> lazy rolling hoodie? We're not going to get them for another like five weeks. You can be patient. How about this too? I'm just gonna I'm just yeah. go with this. Write a haiku about whatever you want, <laughs> PEV related. Write a haiku, five syllable seven, seven, five, seven? I have no idea. Five, it's seven, been a long five, time since grade write, four. Write, when I, Google what, how to do a haiku if you don't know. Write a haiku in the comments below. Best haiku wins a lazy rolling jacket. There we go. Yeah. I, I wonder how many people actually take the time to do a haiku. We're about to find out. But that's out. the way we'll be able to tell if you stuck exactly, it to the end yeah. and how bad you want a lazy rolling. But say if only five people comment with a haiku, that's, that's good, good odds, odds. So that's good please odds. That's send us your five. best haikus and we'll read it out uh, at our next <laughs> video. Also, you stuck to the end. The guy from Sweden, Christian yeah, Grongsvist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that correct? Christian Grongsvist. He got his goodie bag. Yeah. Um, he sent us a video. It's poor quality. You can barely hear him. But it's but adorable. It's awesome. He tries every single thing. Uh, I'll throw a little quick little yeah. clip at the very end of him trying the stuff because uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. He loved the ketchup chips. Man. I wish we could just film videos all day. This is just the best. I love shooting the shit. I know. Oh, I got to quack that Shoot out now. Shoot the quack with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get to end this thing. Thanks so much.
for the gift. I got a lot. <laughs> really. I don't know where to start. And I have never seen anything of this before. So it's all new to me. And uh, I got this really nice shirt. It's really comfy. I like it a lot. I will probably live in it for a while. And uh, this cap. And a lot of stickers. Really a lot. But I need to taste this now because I'm hungry and I don't know where to start. I could start with your uh, letter. Very nice. Christian, thanks for watching our channel. I hope you enjoy these Cana Canadian classics. The old Dutch ketchup chips are my personal favorite. All right, enjoy your Canadian friends, Bradley and Lucas. Thanks a lot, Bradley and Lucas. I'm re really, really happy. So your favorites is this one. Maybe I should save that one for a little later then. This one, all dressed flavored. I've never tried that. I have to try it. Mm. Mm, shit. Oh, no, no, no. It's so fun. Mm? Good. Really good. Um, I must have more. That's really, really good. Wow. Saving more for later. I have to try... I have to try this. Hickory sticks. Never try that. Really good. Not bad at all. You could see me down in this one too. <laughs> Man, I got candy too. There's so much good stuff here. We're gonna try. Lay's ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mark. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mark. Mmm. God. Ketchup. It's, it's so good. That's really good. Thank you so much, guys. This is a, this is a flavor sensation for me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm gonna save your for last, I think. I have to try this. Jesus. Are you hungry too? Yeah. This is for me. Mmm. Mmm. They were really crunchy. Good. Mmm. Oh 
Oh my god. You guys are so good. Yummy. Or I mean, chips. Mm. <laughs> I have to try. Okay, so your favorite thing can't be better. <clears throat> Those were really good, really good. I don't think that I will keep as much for tonight. I probably will eat it all. <laughs> but you got, you got, you got me some candy too. So many goodies. Mr. Big, or you know, this big. Hmm. 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 That was really good. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna eat it all at once. I have to save it. <laughs> mm. oh. okay, you have to try them too. Everything is this great. <clears throat> in every store? Macintosh. What is this? This is some kind of... Creamy toffee, cream looks. I would have said the looks, but yeah, really good, really good. Takes a while to chew. Not bad. Mm. What to try next? I mean, you. You didn't send just one bag. You send a <laughs> pile of things. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. I have to shoot this one out first. It's really good. Yeah. 
I can't hate. Not last time. <clears throat> So what is the favorite then of all this? Oh my god, all was great. But I would say those two were great. The greatest, I should say. Ketchup, I have tasted ketchup, but not on chips before. But whatever this is tasting, I have never tasted it before. <laughs> and it's really good. I have to try again to see which one is the favorite. Mm. Oh. That's so good. Thank you so much, guys. I put my wheels here, since it's sort of a wheel show. If you ever come to Sweden, feel free to use them. Feel free to use my beds if you like. You are most welcome. Uh, have a great day. Bye.